Now there are some mathematical miracles of the Quran. <sighs> Throughout all the Quran, if you count some specific words, you will come across to a very to very mi meaningful results. I would like to give you some examples. For instance, if you count the word punishment in the Holy Quran, throughout the whole Quran it is repeated some 117 times. Whereas the word forgive is repeated some 234 times inside the whole Quran. 234. If you multiply 117 by 2, you're going to have 234. It is very meaningful. Why? Because Quranic morality, Allah recommends, Allah orders believers, Allah orders Muslim, Muslims to forgive rather than punishing. It is very meaningful. Moreover, Allah orders to our Prophet, say, it is repeated some 332 times. And the response, they said, it is again equally repeated some 332 times. The words world and, and hereafter, they are repeated 115 times equally. Devil and angel, those two words are equally repeated some 88 times. Now, heaven and hell, those two words are equal, equally repeated 77 times. Zekah, zekah is an Arabic word, its translation is donation. The financial donation that a Muslim is supposed to give to poor. And it is repeated 32 times. And the barakah, the blessing that comes out of giving a donation to a poor, it is repeated 32 times. It is equally repeated. It is very meaningful again. Now, summer, hot, and winter cold, those words are equally repeated five times. And richness and poverty, those two words, it is very interesting. Rich, richness is repeated 26 times, whereas the poverty is half of 26, which is 13. And woman and man, those are repeated equally 23 times. Well, do you know any idea what those numbers represent? Well, let me remind you, if you remember from the chromosome numbers of a human being, from the previous slides, a human body contains 46 different chromosomes. That comes the half of this 46, which is 23, comes from the father. And the other half, which is 23, comes from the mother. Whereas, you got the same repetition number for woman, woman and man. 23 and 23. If you add 23 to 23, you're going to have 46, which will give you the chromosome number of a human being. Now, finally, I would like to give you the meaning of land and sea. Land is repeated 13 times, whereas the word sea repeated 32 times. Well, at first sight, it doesn't seem to be very meaningful. However, if you do a simple math, you're going to have 13. If you add 32, you're going to have 45 as for the result. And the percentages, if you divide 13 to 45, you're going to have 28,88%. And 32 to 45, as for the word C, you're going to have 71,11%. Now, do you have any idea what those percentages represent? Well, I'll tell you, those numbers will give you the, all the lands all over the world on the earth occupies 28,88% of the whole earth. And all the seas, oceans, rivers, all the water occupies 71,11% of the whole earth. Now again, these repetition numbers are very meaningful and it clearly represents us and gives us good scientific evidences that the Holy Quran is word of Allah. And it cannot be, definitely can't be, a scripture of a man. This is not possible. So, for more information, I would highly recommend you to visit harunyahya.com. And in harunyahya.com, you will see that all the information about the miracles of the Quran, uh, of course, since we are limited of time, we could just put here like uh, 20, 30 of them. However, if you visit and read the miracles of the Quran, the word miracles of... Uh, uh, the book Miracles of the Crown from Harun Yahya, you will see that 
there are more than 120, 130 different scientific evidences for the miracles of the Quran. And all those informations are free, free to download, free to duplicate, free to distribute, and for your use for the cause of Islam. Thank you very much for listening.